these two teams. ULM has been better defensively. Raging Cajuns scoring more points. What sticks out to you stats-wise? Well, the Cajuns get up and down the floor. They shoot quick. They shoot often. They do a good job on the boards. Uh, they're a tough team to beat. Take a look at the starting lineups now. First for the Raging Cajuns, it'll be Russell, Johnson, Wilson, Hardy, and Gay. Only seven scholarship players active today for the Raging Cajuns. Efrat Tui, Owen Aid, Ertle, White, and Powell. Here's Coach Bob Marlin, my uh, partner next to me, Coach Vining, of course, uh, with both Keith Richard and for Coach Bob Marlin. I know you have a very close relationship. I do. You know, both of them uh, worked for me. Uh, Coach Richard played for me his senior year, so I've had a lot of uh, a lot of time spent with them, and uh, we've been very close over the years. First college job at Northeast Louisiana here <laughs> under you. Prior name, of course, to ULM. Inside effort, Tui. He can't get it to go. A second chance and a foul called. Well, we've got some interesting uniforms. We have the black for the Raging Cajuns with the red, and then the military camo jerseys for the Warhawks as they uh, honor the military today. Effort two at the line, shooting two. Big man eyes it, shot it, and it's. ULM that strikes first, Effort Tui, a 47% free throw shooter. This is the 81st all-time meeting, by the way. It's 56-24 in favor of uh, the Raging Cajuns. But <clears throat> Effort Tui stepped in there and hit both of those. You know, he's, you know, like you mentioned close around 50%, but he was 100% there. 10th season for Bob Marlin at Louisiana, 11 and 16, 6 and 10 in conference play. Underneath reverse layup is no good. That was by Hugh Gay, and here comes ULM with the basketball. You know, Winners of two of three. Yeah, after two, did a good job of uh, not fouling him, but, but causing him some problems. That size of his uh, really helped him out. Here's Ertl, who has been some kind of good this year. Tenth in the league in, in free throw shooting right now. Fifth in scoring at 15.2 a game. Inside, good move by Effort Tui. And Effort Tui scored the first four. Man, usually he usually he has to get in position to shoot over his left shoulder. He shot with his left arm that time and uh, knocked it down like he's been doing it all his life. Nice dribble drive and a finish by the hometown kid. Well, not too far away over in Ravel. He had a monster high school career. The freshman getting to play at home. He's got about 30 on the pass. He does. But, you know, he's had, uh, had two state champions at Ravel High School. Coach West did a great job with him. And, uh, you know, he's averaging over 11 points a game. He's a tremendous player. Inside, working his effort to and how about the work from the junior Chris Effort to he scored the first six points, two for two. Well, it's obvious they're, they're going to him. Coming off a game in which he had eight points, eight rebounds in 21 minutes, had some foul trouble in the win against Arkansas State by 14 on Wednesday. That was the first win for ULM in uh, at, Ar at Arkansas State since 1985, Coach. You were the coach. <laughs> well, it's a tough place to play. There's a three on the way and good. As that's the first uh, three-point bucket of the ball game. 6-5. Effort two. He gives out. And a long shot again. Langston Powell knocks down the triple. And it's back to a four-point lead for ULM. And now a turnover gives it back to ULM. A little Aaron judgment on the far sideline. Yeah, I think that was just a little bit of carelessness there. By the way, it was our star player, Jalen Johnson, with that first triple for the Cajuns. 9-5, your score. Powell comes out to get it. On the baseline. You know, Olenade wasn't playing a lot early in the season, but since he's been forced into play, he's doing a great job. He's got the mismatch after Tui. And that time he did miss, but another great look. Other way, Ertl defends, and the miss by Malik Wilson on a close look. And here comes ULM with the basketball. Three minutes in, 9-5, Warhawks. Yeah, Ertl did a good job of just uh, getting in his way. There's that quick trigger for Ertl, and he hits his first look on the season, or the uh, ball game on the season, 16.2, fifth of the conference in scoring. You know, Earl just, he does so many things for, for ULM. He runs the, the club for him, gets it where it needs to be, uh, through a pass or a shot, and uh, like you said, averaging over 16 points a game. Gay may have gotten 
slight piece of the rim, but it's pretty much an air ball there. Native of Senegal, Duguay. He's shooting 26% from three. Averaging nine points a game, six rebounds. You want him a little bit closer up, though. Yes, yes, you do. I don't think that's one of his big shots. Inside after Tui and the big man continuing to eat down low. Man, he's working harder to get the ball than I've seen him. And, and they're getting the ball to him while he can do something with it. Earlier in the year, he when he was open, there was a, like a little step behind. I know Coach Richard has really been stressing it, go inside out, but they hadn't had to come back out today. Gay is listed at six foot nine. Effort two, he at seven foot one. There's a drive and a tough shot wouldn't fall. Again, uh, close look. That time that was Hardy, PJ Hardy on the attempt, driving the other way, trying to give it back to Effort two. He was 0 and 8, but he could not get the delivery. What a starting plan for Coach Richard was get it to the big guy. Get, get it low. inside. You know, he's talked about that before. Get it inside, go inside, out. Like I said, today they've been going inside and staying inside. He's been able to finish with it. You know, he mentioned his uh, high was 14. Uh, he was That was on a 6 for 10 shooting against Georgia Southern. Cajuns with the basketball. They weave it out. Hardy, hands off. They weave it back to the freshman, Wilson. Wilson. Wilson likes to put it on the floor and, and really take it to the basket, but he'll also pull up after a dribble. Deep three, good by P.J. Hardy. And, Coach, we've been watching, or going to be watching for those threes for him. That puts him in 10th place all time for three-point shots at uh, Louisiana Lafayette. 34% uh, three-point shooter on the season. That was a pure stroke from deep. I think he was tied for 10th, and that gives him uh, a sole possession of 10th place. Money deflects one out of bounds. Averaging 10 points a game. So many guys. There's more players out combined on both teams than are playing in this game. With injuries. Effort to eat. Good spin move. That one maybe was a little bit too far from the basket. Didn't have the angle. Didn't. He was too, uh, too, too deep on the baseline. Already six attempts for him. Underneath. And a good drive and finish. Gay just muscled Boy, his way he, in. He did. He just put a shoulder on him and kept going. It's like he's pushing a door open. Gay, the junior from Senegal via Daytona State College. Free throw line. White in the corner. Three on the way. A little bit too strong that time from Powell. In a hurry, Russell is into the corner. Three on the way from the corner. Off the side, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by the Cajuns. Three by Russell. A little too strong and skying for the rebound that time was Olenay. I tell you, the Cajuns won't hesitate to put up a three. They're going to come down and shoot the ball. White hits from deep. And the lead is six now for ULM. 16 to 10. The, three, the threes are flying today. Two for two so far is ULM. And two for five for the Cajuns. I mean, the ball poked away from Jalen Johnson, who was our star player. Turnover. They travel that time, but three by Olenay is no good. The first miss. After two, he battles for the rebound, and he throws it away. Oh, man. Earl, Earl way far and then saw an opening and took off far, but it was too late for Olenay to pull up. I would say he zigged and said his ass. He did. First substitution as the big man after two, he'll get his first breather is Elijah Effigy, who played 16 minutes in the game, the win on Wednesday at Arkansas State. The three that almost banks in. Well, Wilson didn't hesitate to put that one up. He just took it. All in eight against what looks to be a zone defense here. They only really mix the defenses in the last matchup. Cajun Dome. All in eight for three. Short missed their last two. And the Cajuns control the rebound. Here comes Wilson. Oh, what a pass. That Underneath. A Duke pass. Gay finishes it. And the two time player of the year in the state of Louisiana. And a nice dime that time, Malik Wilson. It's good to see, you know, looking at both these two rosters, all the talent that has stayed home to play in Louisiana. Good move by FJ as he gets inside. I'm sure for Coach Richard, he wished maybe a few of these guys would come to Monroe and vice versa, but it is nice to see all these Louisiana players playing for their hometown, home school. Louisiana's got a lot of great players. <laughs> Always have. 
gain knocks down a long two. You see where he has that range. And lead is four for ULM. You know, they got back, you mentioned they got back into the zone, and that's to keep, to, to keep uh, FJ from getting that ball in there. Olenade hits the three. That's his first point of the ball game. Now three of five is ULM for three. You know, we mentioned all the players that was hurt early, early in the game in Lafayette when ULM was playing. That's when J.D. Williams drove, went up high, right. came down, and turned his ankle, and has been out for the year. 34% three-point shooting team. When we come back, we'll talk about some of those injuries. It'll be music. It'll be a solid auction. It's a fundraiser for the athletic scholarship put on by the Athletic Foundation. It has started several years ago, and it has really, really grown from the private home to the Coliseum. Molly Ringwald will perform online ulmwarhawks.com for more information. Going to start for ULM offensively, shooting right now 57% from the floor. The Cajuns shooting 46% underneath Duguay. Almost got away with the travel, and it's blocked away <laughs> by Effige. Gives it off for Powell, who drives. He has it blocked from behind by Hardy, but they're going to get Hardy for a foul, and he can't believe it. Well, Powell, Powell was caught and loaded. He was ready to go for that one. Oof. Well, I think Hardy has a, a case, a lot of ball. Maybe a little bit of a hand, but at the charity strike. And shooting a pair is Lynx and Powell, the sophomore from West Monroe. You know, Pearl River Community College. Left the eyes, it shot it, got it. Suffered a season-ending knee injury at Pearl River. Averaged eight points, four rebounds, though. His first nine games there. Transferred here. He's played in 19 games. Started nine of them as he makes another the 80% free throw shooter. He played, nine. Yeah, he played for Coach Chris Oney, who is from Tallulah uh, at Pearl River. Hey, junior college basketball in Mississippi. And a lot of Jucos over in Mississippi, too. Three from the corner is good. Count it and the foul. A three-point jumper goes for Jalen Johnson, the junior. The three lefties on the team. And that time, just the hand of White got him on the arm. You can see why he's uh, why he's up there and, and scoring and rebounding. He's very athletic and very active. Seventh in the league, averaging 15.6 a game. Fifth in the league with seven rebounds per game. And the free throw is good, an 83% free throw shooter from Baton Rouge University Lab High, uh, High School and via St. Louis. He played two seasons for the Billikens. Bounce pass to Ertl in the corner, two points so far. Good drive, pull up, and he hits. He's two for two. Earl's Ertl. got that down. You know, we mentioned another time about doing all you can defensively and you still can't stop him. That was one of those cases. There's a pull up again by Johnson. Lefty magic going on here. And ball tipped out. Here comes ULM the other way. FJ drives in. Can't finish. Tips no good. And a good breakout opportunity. No cigar though. Seven point lead for ULM. Yeah, that was one that got away from him. Here's Wilson from nearby Ravel. No look pass inside. It's tipped away. Knocked away. FJ playing hard. And now the big men get tangled up. He and Johnson. And a foul call. No, it's a jump ball. Are they they'll call a jump on, ball? Yeah, they'll stay on this end. You see him get tangled up that time and we'll grab of the shoulder there by FJ, but just playing hard down low. It was. You know, that was, you know, that, to me, that's good. Two guys fighting for the ball. Neither one of them should get punished for it. Only uh, arrow favors the Cajuns. Oh, somebody, he didn't check in. He just, he just <laughs> You know, with, with all the complicated system now, the way they're reporting at the scores table, they want to make sure everybody reports in so they know who's on the floor. Nicholas coming in for Olenade. Trouble getting it in, but they finally do. Long three on the way is off from uh, Russell, and here comes ULM. You know, that was, that was a, for a lot of people, that'd be a bad shot, but, but Coach Marlin wants them to have the green light, and they do. FJ muscling his way in. He has it stripped away, and now a jump ball called. No, a foul. No, no this time they got a foul. 
Looks like the guy on Tyree Weiss. And he grabbed the, the arm of Duguay. It's his second yeah. foul. That's a big foul. From the look at it, it would I would have thought from here that it would have been uh, FUJ, but uh, they, they're right on top of it. White will stay on the floor with those two fouls right now. So for the Cajuns, checking in is Trajan Wesley. Now for Russell, they weave it out. Wesley gets it back, looks down low, but blocked down low. But the block was Powell of Johnson. Your Tyree White stepped out and helped on that screen that time and was a little late getting back. But then uh, when they tried to throw the ball in there, they were able to come up with it. A little back with the basketball. There's only seven scholarship players available for Coach Marlin in his 10th season. Wide open three on the way is right down the middle for Tyree White, the senior. Shooting at only 29% from three, but a lot better lately. Inside in a nice powering move down low by Duguay. And the big men are really uh, playing well here early on. Well, he got in and went up and shot that little shot. White a little heat check, long two, and a foul, I think, over the back. Going to be called on FJ. Yep. FJ commits his first. That's the team's fourth foul. 9 one to go in this first half. Well, after two, he coming back in. See, uh, with two fouls, Tyree White will come out of the ball game as well. See DeAndre Bernard get his first minutes. Only averaging around 15 minutes per game. Yeah, Bernard's a very athletic transfer also. Well, pass down low. Jalen Johnson lost the handles. And they're going to call a foul underneath. And against Bernard. Yeah, Bernard is first. But he was kind of pushing against his defender. Five team fouls now against ULM. Mention the injuries, though. A combined 82 games have been missed for the Raging Cajuns due to injuries. Three season ending surgeries. That was before December. Pull up jumper off the front iron is no good from Hardy. And ULM the basketball. Of course, you mentioned. With J.D. Williams going down in that game at the Cajun Dome as Ertl airballs a three. It was two games later that Jalen Hodge goes down for ULM. So both teams have just really had to have that next man up mentality. Yeah, Jalen came in to replace J.D. and then, uh, you know, he's out. And so now you've got Olenade and, uh, and Langston Powell's playing a lot, uh, a lot more now too. But Langston gives them... Uh, Really a steal the there by Wilson, yeah. a jump ball called. Did Josh, you see the... Yeah, Josh Nicholas just came into the game, and I don't think he was just ready to put... to, to handle it under that pressure. He was a little careless Entry with it. Owen Aide is Eddie back for... Back for the Warhawks, and then Lafayette checks in for the first time. Kristen from Detroit, Michigan. Angel Park. I think Owen Aide is giving uh, Earl a little bit of a breather. It's from Detroit. His uh, name is Lafayette. He fits in perfectly. <laughs> you know, Josh Nicholas, I think he came in for... Uh, like the, uh, I thought he came in for Tyree White. Or, or, uh, Nicholas had it altered by Lafayette. And here comes the Cajuns. Johnson makes that extra pass into the corner. The three is up and good. P.J. Hardy. Hardy with his second three now. And it is a five-point ball game. Seven here with me, and uh, Coach Richard was a senior that year as a player, so we spent a lot of time together. He went to Pensacola uh, Junior College as a and won a national championship. We tried to recruit some of his players. He wound up in the in the Southland Conference at uh, Sam Houston, and we coached against each other. But we've stayed in contact all over the years. He's a great guy. Here's a steal. Hardy the other way, and he lays it up and in. Just a three-point game now. The coach Marlin, Sam Houston State, 2003-2010 NCAA tournaments. And then uh, overall, 107 wins in conference play. Four shy of third place in Coach Gene Barto. There's a three by DeAndre Bernard, the graduate transfer from East Tennessee State. Knocks down the triple. He back to six. That's a 
shot where the bank's open. Well, Malik Wilson with the triple on the season, a 39% three-point shooter, leads the all Sun Belt freshman in scoring, steals, rebounds, and minutes played. Play with a rebound as well. Yeah, he's Especially running men. Yeah, he's running the ball club for him and then not hesitant to put it up. <laughs> okay, young man. <laughs> maybe not the best <laughs> of shots that time. Yeah, maybe, maybe let it come to you. You know, not only is he one of the best freshmen in this league, but one of the best in the country. One of ten players in Division One. Only freshman averaging 11 points, five rebounds, and two steals, two assists. 18 points, 13 rebounds back on January 4th against Troy. He does a lot of things for Coach Marlin, and I know they're tickled to death to get him, and I know a lot of uh, Ravel fans are here watching him play today to bring back good memories of when he was playing at uh, Ravel High School. Down low, and a foul will be called on Lafayette. Back to Malik Wilson. Back-to-back -back state championships. They win a combined 70 and 6. Those two years. Playing a tough schedule, too. Oh, they played. It's another turnover. Just not just miscommunication between the guards. Erda was looking to cut, and uh, Olenade was just getting rid of the ball. You know, he's got to pass it for a purpose, not just to get rid of it. Back-to-back 2A -back players of the year for Malik Wilson. New Gay, good pump fake. And it drives in and draws the fouls. Pump fake worked on Bernard for sure, and he goes to the free throw line rewarded. Yeah, it did. It looked like he kind of did a little dance there before he put that ball on the floor, but they called for the foul. You know, for 6'9", and he's listed, I say listed at 6'9", 220. I'd say probably, what, 6'9", 245? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, you know, he, he really does a nice job. He has a good inside-out game. He's big and he's aggressive. 78% free throw shooter, 2 of 3. Today's the third player from Senegal. Play for the Raging Cajuns in school history. Second on the team in free throw percentage. Missed the first. Missed the second. Well, that's unusual to see him miss two in a row. Still a three-point game. ULM has led to the entirety of this first half. Six minutes to go. Well, that zone shut down the uh, effort to it. Looks like a 1-3-1 that time. And out of bounds, it'll go the other way. So, well, I got a meeting. I think he thought he might have saw something else. He's asking him exactly what he saw. Looking for dinner plans. Mardi Gras plans. Yes. Yeah. Where are we going to stop after the game? So it is going to be uh, Cajun basketball. As Cajun Wesley, the sophomore backup point guard, averaging around three assists a game. Rise and kicks. Pump fake by Gay. Man falls down. Back in the corner, three on the way by Wesley, and he knocks it down. As Wesley, the backup point guard from Minnesota, Texas, on the board. You know, Ole thought he had that one. He almost picked it off, and then that was his man that got loose for that three. A tie game. There's a block in the corner. Erdl. On Ertl. Yeah, Ertl goes up with it, and uh, <laughs> he didn't realize, I guess, how quick the guy was. A tie game, a chance for the first lead that time. A battle, Ertl now picking it up is Olenade. There was kind of a battle, a battle for that one over there too. They're really getting after it. They're going after the ball. Through the three, six of 13 for the Cajuns now. There's a steal and a chance at the first lead of the game. Wesley, the layup is good. We'll see if Coach Richard maybe calls a timeout. An eight nothing run now for the Cajuns. You know, that's just, I don't know, that's just a poor a poor pass. I don't know what else you can say about that. He just threw it over his head. Six turnovers and now foul on Ertl. Going strong to the bucket. Still a shy of the bonus with 440 to play in this first half. Wesley commits his first. Back the big long arm lefty Jalen Johnson back in there. Averages 16 a game, seventh in the conference in scoring. I think they were just giving him a rest, getting everybody involved in the game. 
That's a Jay, gets it into the corner. And a tough leaner in the lane is no good by Powell, but he is fouled and will go to the free throw line. Foul number 15 for the region, Cajuns, P.J. Hardy. That's, that's on Hardy. That's his second foul. You know, Powell did a good job of taking in there and staying under control. He, he uh, got his shot off and had a chance to go and got fouled. The free throw is one of three for the Cajuns. Now five for five for ULM. Wilson. Wilson checks back in. The freshman from Ravel. As Hardy will check out. One more time for Langston Powell, the 80% free throw shooter, and he makes both. And a lot of uh, lefties in this ball game. It, it is. You know, uh, Wilson. I don't think he's got, not going to stay out a whole lot. Uh, I don't think they, they've moved him to a two guard now. I think FJ got a piece of that. I don't know how that went. Wesley still got that to go. <laughs> I don't know how. He got tipped and it still went in. Back to a two point edge for the Cajuns, and now a travel is all at FJ. Seven turnovers now for ULM. Yeah, he's trying to create something in a crowd, and he just. He's got to catch it and move. That's why they went to that zone is to stop that. ULM hasn't scored in almost three and a half minutes. Agents have made six of their last eight shots. ULM won for their last seven after the hot start. Underneath, a good find by Wesley to Lafayette, who lays it in. That's as easy as it gets. And now a four-point lead for Louisiana. That was great penetration in the pass, and the FA just caught it and, and put it back in. A good job on Ertl. Looks like they've uh, back. They've switched from a 2-3 to a 1-3-1. Corner three on the way. That would have been big, but it's an air ball from Langston Powell. Runaway driving layup is blocked away by Powell. Of Wilson, the freshman coming our way. Slamming into the table is Wesley, and he's okay. We had one in the women's game. We've had one here in the men's game. A point guard. Some of those uh, blocking pads from the football field. You know, the Cajuns have got uh, nine points off of turnovers. ULM's got seven, and uh, it's 9-0 in, in that department. Well, Four-point lead now for the Cajuns, their largest. And, Coach, talk about this defense, the mixing of defenses here by Coach Marlin. Well, he, he's going to shuffle around. You see that this is a wingman uh, right here. Uh, Johnson coming all the way from the wing to the top to pick up Ertl. They're just overplaying Ertl wherever he is. And then they got the zone principles. And a great pass, but and he was able to get it off. Ertl has made all three of his shots. I take that back. He has missed a shot, but he does have six points now. You wouldn't think that's where he would score from with a size like that in his own, but he was able to get it up quick. When he was so far underneath the basket, too. Bounce pass. Jalen Johnson. He's a lefty. Remember, that's his offhand. He misses it twice. Well, he was so busy jumping into the defense that he missed his shot. And to go to that right hand. He's late getting down the floor underneath and a slam from Everett Tui. That's a high percentage shot. <laughs> Ten points. Double figures, the first one. Two double figures on either side. He's four away from his career high already. Driving in now. Lafayette open for three. He'll take it, and he hits it. So Lafayette with the bucket. He's now coach six of nine from three-point range on the season. Well, he didn't hesitate to put it up. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's used to shooting it. He is... 40-37 now. Three on the way is no good from Langston Powell. Rebound to the Cajuns. Yeah, they're making it difficult for, for Ertl to touch the ball many times. You see, he never touched it that time. You'd think that uh, he might touch it most of the time down the floor, but they're, they're kind of shattering whatever uh, it, they're in, but they're in a zone defense, and they just go with him. Again, this time, it doesn't fall for Lafayette. And here comes Ertl again down the floor. Bounce pass down low. Nice extra pass across the blocks. Effort underneath draws the foul. That was not a good place to be. 
And I, I kind of like it, at least for ULM. It's cool to see FJ and Efra Tui on the floor at the same time. Well, yeah, he, he attracted the, the defense, and then he was able to dump it off, and Efra Tui, and that's a difficult for a big man to catch, a pass down around waist or below the waist. But he was came up with it and uh, didn't get his free throw. On the season, a 47% free throw shooter. First miss of the game for ULM, 6 for 7. Wesley's back in. Our good friend who did it the scores table over here. Second is good for Efra Tui. He's got 11 now. And it's 2 of 3 at the free throw line. 4 of 7 shooting. Well, he's been very active today. You know, they've done a good job of getting him the ball, and he's finished with it. You know, the more the more success he has, the more times he'll get the ball. Under a minute to play in his first half, and a three sits by Cedric Russell, a 36% three-point shooter, and now whistle stops play. Timeout. Well, a timeout is called by the Cajuns, and Coach Richard not happy right now. I didn't know if it was on the officials or on one of his players. <laughs> it was most certainly on See, at Little Rock, App State coach. Well, that's, you know, one and one. They've got to, they just got to win this game, and they got to take care of those two to even have a prayer. The 10 game losing streak was strained. I think the, the margin overall was 32 points they lost by in the course of that losing streak. Well, two or three up was one point. Pow for three. Two point game. A couple of them was at the buzzer. I mean, just you don't lose two games in one year at the buzzer when you're leading uh, with two seconds left. And yet that happened. And and uh, one of them was at home. The other one was on the road. Well, now 6 of 13 from three. Gay lost it underneath on the give. Last touched by he. So out of bounds, it goes to ULM. Now the chance to tie or take the lead before half. He was going to the basket for it and... Uh, ULM was able to knock it out of his hand. They said it went off of his knee. The team shooting the ball extremely well in the first half. Here's Ertl. It's by Wesley in the lane. Where's the foul? No foul is called. Put back by Everett Tui is no good. A little surprise there wasn't a foul call there. They let him play on, and that ends the first half. For all 402, for all of those 24 years. 1981 to 2005, the head coach, Northeast Louisiana slash ULM. And you said earlier, you know, that Coach Marlin was here with me in 81, and Coach Richard was a player in 81. This game goes full circle. A lot of, a lot of history in this state. As a matter of fact, we went to the NCAA uh, playoffs that first year in 82. Spinning is Jalen Johnson in the first points of the second half belong to the Cajuns. They lead 45 at 41. That's his first two. Johnson, one of our key players in this ballgame. Near steal out front as Olenade has to run it down. Shot clock is at 15. Yeah, Tyree looks like he fumbled it on the handoff. Olenade was going after it. Olenade pulls up. He's playing with so much more confidence lately. Had 12 points. And there went over Arkansas State on Wednesday on five of seven shooting. Another nice jumper there. I think early when he first started, he was scared he was going to make a mistake. And, you know, I think Coach Richard just, you know, just kind of telling him, you know, you're going to have to play, so you're going to have to play no matter what you do. And uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence, as you said. Malik Wilson, the freshman from uh, Rabel, turns it over, trying to make a play on the baseline. One of the top freshmen in the country. This you know, year. Coach Richard can work with those guards because then he he did a great job of being a point guard for us uh, back when he was a player. Looking down low, Efra Tui spinning. Left hand, no. And he gets a look, but can't uh, finish it. Just got on top of that and too much. He never got over the rim. I thought he could get, get under it or he just slipped out of his hand. Get around to the baseline. Fadeaway jumper by Duguay, rims off. Offensive rebound, Johnson's blocked away by Efra Tui. He falls down on the baseline. Hope he's okay. A seven foot one Nigerian, he's up. And there is a foul called against the Cajuns. Uh, Malik Wilson, but you see in that replay how high Efra Tui got. Oh, he did, he did. 
But, you know, it looked like it, uh, Wilson came down on his uh, ankle there, but I don't think it didn't hurt either, either one of them, obviously, and thank goodness it didn't. Everybody in the expensive seats okay over there? Yeah, if uh, <laughs> if ever two of the fell on that uh, 200 and something pounds, they'd have had a, they'd have had a problem. Gay and Efra Tui underneath battling. And uh, foul is on P.J. Hardy. That's his third foul. It's kind of early, you know, with 18 minutes left in the game. But uh, so he'll come out. Yeah, he Wesley three, checks back three, in. Three, Wesley played some really good minutes in that first half. Erdl off the screen. Nice fancy dribble, but he still lost the handle. Poked away by Johnson. Driving is Wilson, and he's fouled on the way up from behind by Olenade. And Wilson's yeah, line. They're going to give it to Langston Powell. Olenade was going for the ball and ran past him, and they, they, they called it on uh, Langston Powell. His second, Wilson makes the first free throw. Shooting 90%. Well, there is 70% from the free throw line. Malik Wilson, 5 of 8 today. And he missed the second. Three point lead for the Cajuns. It's over two minutes into the second half. You know, Ertl was going to the basket and kind of got strung out and a little off balance and tried to make that pass right over their head, and they, they just got a hand on it. He, he was not uh, really on balance. White's been somewhat quiet so far. Olenade spots up for three, a little too strong. And the rebound cleared by the Cajuns. Yeah, he had a good look. That looked good until it just kept going. They isolate Wilson. Now Gay back to him. He spins it back into the post. Gay comes away as effort two. He almost stole it. Yeah, Wilson, they're trying to post Wilson up on Olenade. Gay drives. Great defense by effort two. There was some contact, but no foul called. You see Gay a little bit frustrated. Yeah, he just, uh, the only time, time he got there, the ball was behind the rim, I mean, behind the backboard. Well, Three-point game pace is slowed. At least the scoring has a little bit here to start the second half. Both teams shot very, very well in the first half. And with the Cajun are back to the man-to-man -man defense, but they will switch. Powell was unable to get that one to go. Came off of a screen and had the shot. You'll take that look about every time. There's Wilson. Wilson going to work again. Pull up for Jalen Johnson is over the backboard. Talking some smack with uh, somebody in the, in the expensive seats, too. Well, there are There is some pushing and shoving on those boards. Uh, that time, effort to it, and uh, Gay was locked up. Uh, looked like two bulls pushing each other. Johnson is such a tough matchup. at 6-7 with those long arms is Ertl with a step back long, too. And U. Allen's back within one. That's what Ertl does. He gets in there and he's got that little fade away, and he's perfected it. It's a steal at the baseline. Gay fades away. Right hand, that's a difficult shot. He missed it. Russell runs down the loose ball. Yeah, somebody, somebody defensively was not in position. That U. Allen should have had that rebound. Five offensive rebounds for the Cajuns. Russell fades and he hits on this side. Back to a three-point lead for Louisiana. That was similar to that uh, to Ertl shot. Just get in there and, and fade away a little bit to get away from the defense. Ertl has eight points, two assists so far. Tyree White spots up for three. That one goes down. Tyree White, the native of St. Louis, Missouri, ties the ball game up at 48. Yeah, they've got that uh, that down good. Ertl comes off of him real hard like he's setting the screen, and then he just pops out and shoots a three. Well, Three-point shooting contest this time, a miss. And ULM the basketball in a tie ball game. Yeah, tw tw 25 minutes to get to this point. Larry White, three for three now from long range. Owen Aid creates his own shot, but that one went down and came back out. Russell. To Wesley. Jump shot good. Wesley's got a nice little slick jumper, the backup point guard. He's been playing really, really well. Seven points for him on three for three shooting. Maybe find a way to get him some more shots. Yeah, he's only 5'9, but he plays big. Wesley averages 5.1 a game. They're back to the zone now. 
White fades, hits, counted, and the foul. A tie game as Tyree White has now 11 points on four of them. The uh, Mellon Warhawks in those camo jerseys. Yeah. Tyree, Tyree. Nice. yeah, he hadn't made a free throw today yet. White. On the season, a 69% free throw shooter hits, averages 10 points a game. He's been averaging lately, though, 15 and 7 over his last 11. And tonight, so far, this afternoon, he's sitting on 12. Wesley to Johnson for three. And that one bounces over the backboard as well. You know, he was wide open. There was, there was a switch, and two people was guarding one man. They didn't... They didn't get back to him quick enough. 28% three-point shooter. Seventh in the conference in scoring. Fifth in rebounds per game. Owen H short on that three attempt. White tracks down the offensive rebound. In the corner three. Short. Offensive rebound or almost an offensive rebound by FJ, but taken away by Lafayette. Yeah, he had a hand on it and he just couldn't pull it down. You know, Ertl went to the middle and didn't get that return pass. He'd got it. He'd had the shot in the in the lane. Little knocks it away from Russell underneath the basket. ULM with their first lead of the second half, 51 50. After the free throw by Tyree White. You know, both teams had their little runs, and so now they kind of settle in as Earl comes up with a steal. If uh, ULM can capitalize on the sixth turnover for the Cajuns. See, there's not, he's looking for that screen. Corner three by Powell. They continue to throw up a ton of threes. That one misses as well. They missed their last four. Well, Powell hit a couple early, so he's he's still looking for them right now. Johnson, an NBA at three, too strong. <laughs> that was a three. That was beyond the uh, international line and the NBA line. International line, now the men's college line this year. See, they got this zone, and, and they're standing and dribbling right now. Coach Richard's trying to get him to move, to penetrate, and then kick it over. Ertl was in the corner trying to spot up, and then he breaks into the middle. Eight to shoot. White spinning, fading, and misses. Gotten really a lot of looks. Two bodies on the floor for the Cajuns on the other side as Wesley takes it hard to the basket, and he's fouled. Everybody's okay. Everybody comes out of the uh, pile. Yeah, Olin is the one that got him. Olin was trying Olin to get in front of him and take it. <laughs> That's some good camera work on the baseline over there. You got to keep your composure, and he did. <laughs> he did. We throw up and good by Wesley. Duguay checks in for Johnson. One more time for Wesley, who's a 76% free throw shooter. You know, we mentioned earlier, he's 5'9", but he takes it to him. Instead of 5'9", 165. Trajan Wesley, the sophomore from Minnesota, Texas, Cy Falls High School. Now into the corner, Ertl thought about the three. So they had Ertl on the baseline. He was running, just changing size to get him to to come to him and then swing it back to him. Powell drives in, reverses hands, left the uh, scoop shot, wouldn't fall. And the Cajuns have it up by one. You know, that was Powell's shot. He's left-handed and, and had that shot, just didn't get it to go. See the freshman, uh, Wilson comes to get it, now hands it off back for Wesley. You know, Wesley ran the floor and was in the corner looking for it. Now he is continuing to stay hot as Trajan Wesley hits another three. And the lead is four for the Cajuns. Wesley now 14 points on five for five shooting, two of two from three. See, Wesley was just overplaying that pass and they set the screen and stepped back out. And Wesley was just looking for it. One to three on the way. That one is good by Gary Olenade, 5'11 junior from Houston. Back to a one-point game. They answer each other's threes that time. They do. They, they're both you know, kind of taking their time and getting to it now. 
Open three for Gay. He can make the three, but he misses that one. And on the baseline was Wilson, so the ball goes back to... He'd be fun to go to parties with. Yeah, yeah, he will. In about 15, 16 years or so. Yeah, his mother and daddy are <laughs> laughing at him now. They're going to be talking about him. <laughs> I respect him because he wasn't doing the floss. Right. <laughs> That's true. One-point game here in Monroe. Second meeting between these two clubs this season. Last was Cajun Dome, an 81-60 loss by ULM to this Cajun squad. January 25th, 81-60 was the final. J.D. Williams went down in that ball game. White lost the handle underneath, out of bounds. And yeah. it'll, no, it'll go the uh, other way. Yeah, they're in that zone, and he had three people around him. He just got to catch it and try to make the move and then get it back out. If you notice, when Earl got the ball, they had two men on. They were on each side of him. They're going to try to keep him from uh, taking it towards the basket. The teams continue to shoot the ball pretty well, almost identical, 42-43%. That was ULM's ninth turnover. Wesley has been very aggressive in a well, uh, turnover, I believe, gives it back to ULM. He just lost the basketball. Well, that was their seventh there, so it's it's nine and seven now. Chance for ULM to go back up on top. That Olin eight has it deflected away and stolen. Wesley now three on the wing is no good. And the rebound pulled down by ULM. That was Russell on the three attempt. Ertl thought about the deep three. Olin eight. He's been hot. That one online, but a little too strong. They battle for the loose ball. Ertl comes away with it. Drives to the paint. Puts it up. Count it to the foul. <laughs> now this kid. There's a lot of guys in the country that have a lot more maybe athleticism or talent, but nobody plays harder. Look at him going up against Lafayette, who is six foot ten, and he takes it to the hole and gets the and one opportunity. He, he took it and used his body to protect the ball and finished it. And that's what you know we talked about. Some of those, some of the bigger players don't use their body to take care of, but he has to. He learned how to, and and he he comes through with that basket. He has ten points, four rebounds, five rebounds rather, three assists, and he makes the free throw. Look at Ertl. He's first in the conference, seventh in the nation in percentage of teams' minutes played. He plays 95% of every game. Well, he was doing that before they were down to seven or eight players. Three by Russell as he answers on the other end and puts the Cajuns back up by one. This has been a nice shooting performance for both teams, really. Now 8 of 20, ULM for three. There's a miss after two of the rebound. And a jump ball is called. The arrow stays on this end. You yeah, know, that was a good call. Instead of calling a foul on him or instead of calling traveling on him, they uh, are either one of them, then they uh, they just give it a, a hell ball and uh, get it under the basket. Last three for the Cajuns. They're 10th. They're now 10 for 25. From three-point range, ULM 8 for 21, and now they turn over as Earl can't run down that inbound pass. Well, he started to throw it earlier and to uh, Olenade, and, and they were kind of watching that and went for it, and so he threw it to Earl, and Earl was starting to break in, and they just threw it over his head. I mean, you, you, you've got to be able to get the ball inbounds. One-point lead for the Cajuns with a basketball. Russell pulls up for three. That would have been their 11th, but if... A little bit short. Ertl comes down with the rebound. His sixth rebound of the ball game. White, three on the way. Why not? There's number nine in the ball game for ULM. 19 combined threes, and now White has 15. And a whistle and a foul on the other side. Yeah, Powell takes a swipe at the ball. Foul number 10 for the Warhawks. White's to Powell. This is third now as three team fouls. Only seven combined fouls, so we're still a long way from the bonus on either side. 9.04 to play. What a great ball game. It has. It's a, it's a lot of action. It's a lot of, lot of athleticism. Seesaw battle. Both teams have had leads. Good move by Johnson. His man falls down, drives in with that left hand. Somehow he gets it to fall. Plus one at a chance to give the Cajuns back the lead. 
It's the first foul on Efrid Tui. Look how rangy he was with those long arms, and somehow he had the touch to keep that ball from falling off the rim. He's, uh, you know, there's a reason he's averaged around 16 points and seven rebounds a game. He's just an athletic 6-7 uh, player. He's 12 now, 2 of 2 at the free throw line for the junior. The transfer from St. Louis played two years for the Billikens. Wesley comes out of the ball game. And Hardy checks back in. He has three fouls. White lobs down low after two. He slams with the right hand. Yeah, that's the most aggressive that, that we've seen him. That's the early, early in the game. Of course, that's the first time they really got the ball to him. He's open. They went back to the man to man, and he just locked his man high. And they did a good job of getting the ball to him. 13 one away from his career high at eight early. Johnson, a three on the way, short, and an over the back call against uh, Gay underneath. So Duguay will be called for the foul. That's his second. You like that call? I, I, I thought that was a no call. I, I kind of did too. Yeah, I thought it was a no call. Two guys going after the ball. Whichever one doesn't get it shouldn't have to be a, a punished with a foul. ULM by one with the basketball. Only an eight for three. That would have been the tenth. It's ringing out. Out of bounds. They're going to say, you know, it uh, is Cajun basketball. So we've got Wilson back at the running the point now. No need for a shot clock in this ball game. We've had over <laughs> you know, 105 you, shots have been taken so far. You never need one with uh, with the Cajuns. Wilson drives and finishes. The freshman now has played a nice ball game. We're from Rabel, 30 or so in the stands for him today. White tries to answer, can't finish. Efra Tui puts it in, but it won't count. There is a foul underneath, and I think we'll have him out there. Well, he and Jay, <laughs> he and Jay's been buffing a lot uh, on both ends of the floor. That's what you want when you recruit a guy like Efra Tui. You know, you this is what you want out of your your big man that's seven foot one. All deflected off the inbounds by Johnson. See, but, see that zone? They were just kind of spread out. And the first one, it broke. They went with him. And then uh, they had trouble getting it into uh, to Ertle. See, well, they stepped out to cut off that reverse pass. They're doing a good job with their defense there. Ertle with one to shoot just gets it off, and he misses the three. We've had 19 combined three-point makes in this ball game. That's well, tough to have to get the shot when it's uh, you know when you got it with two or three seconds out there you got to get it moving and get some movement, move the ball and get some movement. Wilson trying to spin on the baseline, but he lost his footing and travels. Well, he just slipped. I mean, his foot just slipped out Monday. Also, the freshman from uh, nearby Ravel. He was about to make a big spin move. He points five rebounds. That was his third turnover. Only eight turnovers though. For the Raging Cajun so far. It's that 1-3-1 one, one zone. White pump fakes. He jumps. He's higher than just about everybody. Earl picks it up. Counter to the foul. There's a new career high for the seven foot one Chris Efra Tui. More importantly, it's you now the ULM Warhawks on top by one. Oh, flex, uh, yeah. flex young man, big fella. <laughs> yeah. Show off them. Uh, Guns. Hmm, that went in and come out. Can't finish the old fashioned three point play. So ULM by one, 6.40 to play. Buckle up. This will be a fun final six and a half minutes. They weave off. This is Wilson. Drives with a right hand scoop shot. No good. They were they were kind of looking for that. They got, uh, well, after two in and, and uh, Tyree both sitting there watching for it. ULM's won two of three, snapping that 10-game losing streak on February 13th against Troy. That's a good ball movement. White pretty much wide open in the middle of that zone, and now a three-point lead for ULM. And Tyree White 
Now has 15. Well, they've been trying to kick off that reversal pass, kind of playing out wide, and, and the White just slipped in behind him, and they got it to him. Time out on the floor. 5.53 to go. ULM on a bar. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, yes. I guess uh, when you see this many threes taken in a ball game. Well, but, you know, that's that's what uh, that's what the Cajuns have lived on. They do that all the time. ULM does sometimes. Mentioned, uh, you know, Ertl had uh, had Levin himself uh, one, one game, game earlier. That was a 39-point game that he had. That was against South Alabama. There's right on cue, P.J. Hardy. That's the 11th three-pointer and we are tied at 66 five and a half to go in regulation Powell drives he draws contact and a foul he'll head to the free throw line oh. so Powell to the line that was on Malik Wilson it's his second team foul number eight so bonus time the rest of the way for the Warhawks And the free throw falls off for Langston Powell. An 80% free throw shooter. Yeah, he had made four. Now four of five. Making five of six as a team. ULM 10 of 13 at the line. Cajuns are five of four, eight. See, Wilson's coming down and then was getting instruction to see what what they're going to run. He starts to run, uh, starts to go to the basket and cuts back out and they lose the ball and uh, Olenay comes up with it and takes his three. A little bit strong. That would have uh, brought the house down. Good crowd here on this Saturday. Driving in, scoop shot by Russell, no good, but Duguay picks up the rebound and the putback. So Gay now in double figures with 10 points. Mm -hmm. And we see Saul back and forth. Yeah, Gay was just in the right place to come up with it. Earl almost come up with a steal from behind. Earl hit hard. Mm -hmm. He tries to get another and one. As he goes falling into the goal stanchion. And look at the foul. Hardy got him from behind. And That's Hardy's fourth foul. Yeah, but Earl, you know, that one, <laughs> it tried to go in, but the, he just couldn't get it. Myrtle at the line, he uh, makes the first. That's only his second free throw today. 77%, 10th in the conference in free throw shooting is Hardy with those four fouls. Goes back out of the ball game, Wesley back in. And Ertl, that silky smooth touch. He's got a Baker's dozen now, 13 points on 5 of 11 shooting. 0 for 5 from 3, but still finding a way to be productive. Gay yeah, thought about the three. Good spin pass in for Johnson, who can't get it to fall. Wilson, the freshman, and it knocked away, but he's fouled. Like he got Ertl. Uh, 15 foul, so Ertl charges his first, first foul. First foul, 15 foul. 423 to play, still have the under four media timeout. ULM by one. Yay. Yeah, they've been trying to post up. Uh... Wilson into the corner. Three by Wesley. Front iron, no. Ertl, a good, strong rebound for the Warhawks. Yeah, they've been trying to post up uh, Erie Olene down, uh, down low. Ertl, pull up jumper, a little bit short. Zero's going at it. And it's won by Russell, who gave up a lot of height on after two. Wesley drives. He stepped on the sideline. A turnover for the Cajuns. Their 10th of the ball game. Here at Bent Ewing Coliseum, 6:30 entertainment from the Molly Ringwalds. Live auction, silent auction, table $800. Individual is $60. Go online to ulmwarhawks.com for more info. Get those tickets over at Malone Stadium as well. That's a very, very popular event. There'll be a lot of people here. All of the coaches will be here that, that are in town and not on the road playing. So it's a nice chance to come and visit with ULM fans and coaches. And for two, he had a mismatch against Wilson, and he draws the foul. 
Or rather, uh, Tyree White had a bit of a, a mismatch there, draws the foul. So White at the charity stripe, shooting a pair. Yeah, he was trying to get him to the basket, but Wilson wasn't going to have any part of that, even if he had to foul him. White has 17 points, 4 of 5 at the line so far. Make it 5 of 6, 8 is 2. This game has had 9 ties, 12 lead changes so far. And a very good one between the Cajuns and the Warhawks. Second free throw is off, no good, so he splits the pair. Three and a half to go, a two-point lead for ULM on their home court. Russell hands off for Wesley. So they're going to work the ball a little bit. Johnson. <laughs> that is a cold-blooded three to give the Cajuns a one-point lead. You know, as they ran that weave, you think they were going to try to turn the corner and go, and uh, the three shots calling the timeout to talk to his guys. Johnson, just a 28% three-point shooter. But that one was... You know, mentioned Jalen, before the, the game started, we talked about him. He's getting close to his average. I think he's got 14. He's averaging uh, right at uh, 17. 71-70. Cajuns with the lead by one. Earl gets a screen from White. See, they got back to White that time. You know, he's been setting that screen and popping out to shoot the three. Now tries to give it up. Underneath for FJ, but off his hands and out of bounds. A turnover gives it back to the Cajuns. That's tough. This time of the game, you can't uh, you can't have many possessions without getting a shot. Well, turnovers for ULM. Langston was just trying to create something, and he he thought he could get it to him and uh, get an easy shot. Driving is Wesley blocked from behind by Olene. Good defensive play there at the rim. You see, they did a good job of, of not fouling him, avoiding contact, and then uh, got the shot from behind, as you said. Earl back to Olin Aid, who's playing some big minutes. Ertl spots for three. He was 0 for 5, but make it 1 for 6 now. 73-71. If that's the one that counted. <laughs> need, a, need a camera on Nick White over there. <laughs> yeah, we should be a Warhawks <laughs> man. <laughs> He, he he pumps that fist every time. Yeah, he I love does. It. He, gets, he gets excited about it. Wesley draws a foul. And that'll be bonus time now for the Cajuns. Foul will go on FJ. So looking at the free throw, all that is the, just the six. So one more. And then bonus time, 159 to go. Well, Wesley just creates a lot. He makes a lot happen. Even if he doesn't do it himself, he, he makes it happen. It's the sophomore. Only played in 14 games this year. Of course, we talked about all the injuries to both teams this year. Wesley with nine to shoot, drives, and another foul. And this time he will have free throws. But, you know, that's the positive. They're coming out. Uh, if there is one, that, you, know, you, you had some injuries and keep people from playing. You mentioned 82 games, but Wesley might not be where he is today, this far along in his playing career, if he, if there hadn't have been some of those injuries. I know nobody wants him, but he stepped up and uh, answered the call. And in 20 minutes today, you see Effort Tui comes back for ULM. Wesley at the line, 76%. Right at 20 minutes, he's played. This is one and one. Makes the front end. So it's a one-point game. So that's his third free throw made today. And 22 made threes combined. 12 for the Cajuns. And 10 for ULM after that last three by Ertl. We're tied at 73. 145 to go. And it's going to come down to the last shot again, it looks like. Yes. It's happened so many times, I know, for ULM. The prognosticators had this as a two-point game, and I don't know, Q, here's Olenade for three, and he hits it! Erie Olenade puts ULM up by three with his 11th point of the ball game on two of nine from three. You know, the same thing that I said about Wesley being able to play applies to Olenade also, because he was playing behind J.D. Williams and, and uh, Jalen Hodge. 
Gay airballs a three, but Erie Olene, nobody really has stepped up more than him with all these injuries. He's taking care of the ball. He's hit the threes today for him. He's done a, he's done a great job. On the season, he averages 17 minutes. He's played 37 so far today. And he's only averaging about five points a game for the year, but he's had three threes. Under a minute to play. Three-point lead for the Warhawks with the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Powell. Gives for White. Four to shoot. Drives. Fades. Can't hit. Rebound pulled down by the Cajuns. Yeah, I think he wanted to pull up and shoot that one, but he just could never get clear. Wilson great pass. Great for pass. Gay. Blocked by yeah, Everett Troy. Ertle. No, get it back. He's got to get it back to Ertle. He's got to get it back to Ertle. <laughs> <laughs> There's basically a three-tenths of a second difference shot clock game clock. But look at this defense by Everett Tui. You know, Earl got the ball and gave it up. I couldn't believe he gave it up. In a season where ULM had a 10-game losing streak, a win here would make three out of four. Earl at the line, right down the middle. You know, a couple of games ago, Olenade had the ball and got fouled and missed the front end, and the other team went out and scored, and ULM lost on the last second shot. Five and double figures for ULM. Effort two with 15. Olin 8, 11. Ertl 17. White 18. Powell 11. As Effort two he goes out of the game. Nicholas comes in. It's a four point game. Yeah, they just got small. They're just going to try to be very active and guard the three point line. Five point game. Most everyone here on their feet. Inside Fent Ewing Coliseum. This one means a little bit more. You see that? Wesley. Oh, look. That, he, he just lowered his shoulder with two. That will be on Ertl. And that'll be his second. So free throws coming for Wesley with 17 yeah, seconds. Watch, watch this. That, it looks like he just cleared a path with that right arm. To stick that forearm out there a little bit. Big free throws coming for the sophomore Wesley. Played some big minutes. Missed the front end of the one and one. Yeah, they need to get away. And they fouled yep. the wrong guy. Yep. <laughs> Earl, a five point lead. Boy, what a huge free throw that was. And Wesley's played some kind of good ball game. Just couldn't get that free throw to fall. But you know, when Wesley stepped to the free throw line, they had only run three seconds off that clock. So that was and the purpose. clock was stopped. Too, yeah, obviously. it was stopped. He goes the length of the floor and gets a shot and gets fouled and is, has a chance to score two points with only three seconds going off. Earl now has 19 points, 79-73. The Cajuns won on January 25th by 21 points in the Cajun Dome. That's when J.D. Williams went out with injury. What a difference a month makes, Coach. It does. It does. You know, and... and just, just different people stepping up, answering the call. Driving the left end and layup good by Russell. Russell with nine seconds. And a timeout is taken by Coach Bob Marlin. Well, at least they let him go to the basket. You know, two points doesn't hurt him. The points is not their enemy. The clock is their enemy. Performance of the season. He's uh, closing in on 1,400 career points. Yeah, too. And then not to mention that 39 that he had earlier in the year. There it is. That's where he needed to go. Earl just did a good job of getting open, and they got the ball to him. So Earl will go back to the line. Only made one three. He was 0 for his first five. But that that three that made it 76-73 was really the biggest play of the game. Well, you know, they all count three points, but there's clutch shots, too. Makes the first. Ertl at the line today now. 8-4-8. Eight, eight. As a time as a, a team, 18 for 22. So ULM should just let them go to the basket again. If that's what they try to do, I would expect them to pull up and shoot the three. Lead is seven. 
Five seconds, Russell drives in. Again, he lays it up and in. An easy bucket. Three seconds left. Lead back to five. Get it in. And a quick foul. This time, Links and Powell will shoot the free throws. And Michael Ertl egging on the crowd. That's a special young man. Well, he's certainly done his part. A little victory lap for Erdl. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been in this rivalry, Coach. Talk about what a win, win means. It's it's uh, it's really big. See, that's why you wanted Erdl having the ball. But uh, it, it's special in, in state rivalry. You know, you you recruit against each other, you play against each other, and and you know, and you're friends. But you know, it's just bragging rights. One out of two there for Langston Powell. Six-point game. At the buzzer, no. And the Warhawks take 